Thank you, Father. Um, like Father said, my name's Aaron. I'm just excited to share a little bit about my experience with Alpha. So the first time I heard about Alpha was through a testimony at church. So it's funny how it all comes full circle that I'm up here to share now. A um, little background on me. I've been Catholic my whole life, grew up with it. Um, obviously hills and valleys in that, but it's always been important to me and been something that I've been trying to grow deeper in, learn more about. So that's kind of what led me to find Alpha. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what to expect with it, um, just because it had been advertised for kind of everyone of different faith backgrounds, so I didn't know what that exactly meant, but Alpha really is an opportunity to just kind of explore and discuss questions about faith, and so it really is for anyone to talk about um, and have an experience with. So one of my questions going in was, uh, do I have to talk? How much do I have to talk? Uh, I was a little nervous about that. Um, but the answer is it's totally up to you, um, your comfort level. As you might guess, I ended up talking quite a bit because I really liked it. So um, I did Young Adult Group Alpha. There's some different groups, demographics, kind of for whatever fits for you. But I did the Young Adult one. Um, there's different times and locations. Ours met at Aubrey's in uh, Pizzeria. So that was kind of a cool environment just to hang out, um, eat pizza, talk about Jesus. Um, and I really got so much more out of it than just the free pizza. Um, for me, the social aspect was huge. Um, just being with people, meeting a lot of people on fire for God, um, building relationships, and being able to just share a meal, meal and build that community was huge um, in itself. I think that would have been good enough, but there was a lot more than that. So um, I would have what I would say kind of a life-changing experience happen for me at Alpha Saturday, which is like the regular Alpha days. Um, I kind of described it as on steroids. It's the same thing, but there's more options for prayer. Um, and with the more prayer, I just had kind of a physical experience with the Holy Spirit coming more into my life. So the Spirit came and just kind of filled me with this warmness and electricity. Um, and it was really cool, and I didn't know that was possible. Um, but more important than that kind of physical thing was just the actual fruits that came with it. So for me, it was just this newfound closeness with God um, in a more real way than I had ever felt before. I just really knew that He loved me, He knows me. Um, I didn't have to be ashamed. I'm his daughter, he has a plan that I can trust him, um, so many different things. And like I said, I'm Catholic and I had heard these things and kind of like how Father Matthias said, you know, you hear it, but to Philly, really feel it and know it in a more profound way, um, that's kind of what it did for me. So right after that, I went to confession, had one of the best ones I had ever had. Um, that was just another cool fruit of it, just a new peace and freedom. Um, so my whole great experience, it really just started with me stepping out of my comfort zone, diving into my faith, exploring these big life questions, um, ultimately just inviting God to have more of a presence in my life. And Alpha means beginning, and for me that's what it was, just a new beginning of a joyful and more fulfilling walk with God. So it's led me to so many other things, um, a better prayer life, being able to defend the faith more, even come up here and talk about the faith more. So I'm so, so thankful for Alpha. Um, if anyone wants to learn more about it, there's a table out in the main entrance for, I think they got information, answer any more questions, and for whether it's for you or maybe you want to invite someone or volunteer, um, come and learn more. So thank you.